Shay, where are we? We're in Golf Club again. Thanks for letting us use facilities, Richard and James. Today, it's a bit of an odd one. We're filming it on the phone because we've just been given the opportunity to jump in here. And a couple of ones we've been asked a couple of times through our Golf North Wales Instagram page, at Golf North Wales, is Swing Caddy. Is it actually any good? eBay, pick them up for £100. 50 yards is on the range. It just puts a bit more... It, just, it makes a bit more use of your range practice. Not everyone's got access to Trackman or um, bits like that. So more than anything, we're just looking at how accurate really is swing caddy. So if we start, we've got a little remote. Just pop your club in on there. So if we were going driver, we'd click driver. One wood. So we'll start off with a 50 degree, so a gap wedge. We will test the yardages against the yardages that Trackman give us, obviously gold standard for any shop fitting fitting stuff. My head's pickled, so <laughs> what we'll do is we'll chuck this down. All you do with the swing caddy is so where you're playing your ball from, if we play it, you say we'll play it from the semi, we'll put what I'm worried about is maybe Trackman not picking it up. It might so not. Put swing caddy to the side here and you just set it up a different decent yeah. distance back from the ball. Simply take your club, which Oh, where is the club? There. It's over there. So we're going to stick stop behind us on the camera. It's nothing fantastic. It's literally just for a few of our followers. We're going to hit four or five shots with each club. But we're not really going to worry about strike or anything like that. So we have been on the range for a few hours now. So we're not worried so much about strike. We're just going to look at the distances that the swing caddy gives us compared to the distances that track man gives us. So I'd say if it's within a couple of yards, would you not call and get me? I would. Just for on using for a practice tool on the range, why not? Just a shout out to Funky Shirt Day. She, Funky Shirt Day. Golf's all about ridiculous shirts. Oh, look at that. And that's what we brought out the bag that today. It's pretty funky, that, bro. If you're not willing to wear a funky shirt, are you really a golfer? Correct. Right, so we'll jump right in. We'll just hit, won't hit hard, I'll just hit them. Just out there, 67. First one on the swing caddy. And Trackman says 67. There you go, there's the first. We've got one at 67. Does it Trackman. give you any other data? On here, we've got swing speed 64 mile an hour. 57.4. So maybe a bit off. Ball speed 63. Spot on. So ball speed spot on. Yardage spot on, so if you're just doing a bit of gap and test for your wedges, first shot, run. A bit of a more full strike. What do we reckon there? What's the track man say? 109. Track man says 96. Yeah, we've got 100. So we're four off on the second shot, but one thing I do want to comment is there's a lot of sun out there. Yeah. Track man's very, very expensive. Swing caddy, not so expensive. We have struggled with it in the mist and the fog before, but at the moment we're, what, we're three yards off of two shots. What we noticed was the long clubs were obviously that little bit worse for wear. Trying to say 80, 86, 88. So we're two yards off there. It won't over the 50. I think what we are, eight over three shots. Yeah. The most being six yards. The question I want to pose is amateur golfers, no golf pro is going to be buying it. No. Amateur golfers are buying it. You know your yards, is your share. How often are you hitting with a standard deviation of less than six yards? Hmm. Question, isn't it? Bobbin, quite good, isn't it? 94 we got on Swing Caddy. 89. 89.5, so we're just, just less than 5. So in reality, we've never really gone more than 5 or 6 yards off, have we? So it's certainly not bad going. If I jump straight into a 9 iron, so all I do, again, click the remote. 9 iron, so we've got the 9 iron in hand. And we'll change it up on here as change well. It to nine iron on there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sorry for the, the sorry for the shaky cam, my arms are aching. 
where we've gone in the past with swing carries, the, the longer the club, the usually the work, the bigger the distance. But when you can back it up to a certain yardage, it's actually quite accurate. I think it's mainly the fact that Trackman dials in and looks at that many different yeah. well, things. Yeah. Well, this is 105, 101. The four yards off. Yeah. How much did Trackman use? 15, 20k. 100 pounds versus 20 grand. Obviously not going to be as good, but there the furthest move off was seven. Seven yards, something like that. Yeah. I'll double check the video. We'll go on to seven and see if we get much different there. I figure they're struggling with the low right of the sun, usually does, tend to, but it's good for rain traffic, it tends to be relatively accurate. We'll come down once in a while, we'll have a bit of a long drive, we can drive it along with some garbage like that, but 7 iron, I'm not going to hit it overly hard, I'm not worried about the distance, but don't know if I picked that up, 125. That's trapped, that's it. 124 yeah. yards. So that's 125. Yard. Chippy one. Feel that bit's on. 88 on the swing carry. 89. 80, 88.9. Yeah, 89. Yeah, so <laughs> 0.9 could be yard off with the 7.9. We're not any worse off than 10 yards. If you're an amateur, yeah. Hitting any better than that. And right, fair enough, we need five wood. This is usually where we find it really struggles. You're driving the ball over there with a 220 carry, something like that. And swing carries give me the old 300 yards. <laughs> if I can drive the ball 300 yards in my lifetime, it's going to be off a cliff. Is that where everyone in YouTube comment sections and Twitter is getting their data from? One of them things telling them it's knocking it 400 yards? Uh, maybe. <laughs> well, we'll be honest with you. We're not going to tell you where any better than we are. My average driver is sort of 220, maybe 215 carry when they're letters permitted. Yeah. My rule left is 245, my dad's bar is 250 if I'm lucky. But not for that. Right, we'll do two hits with the five wood. Strike, but it should tell us that. Bear in mind, these are carrying numbers as well. What you've got carry there, Scott? 125.5. 128.5. So we're five off there. Very, very bad. Labour, slow, boring. Strike, but it's not that strike today. It's literally. So, no, I don't want to jump in the fit in my lads. Like I said, yeah, test it out. Well, is it worth buying? £100 wasting money or not? That one's out there. Not as far as I thought it would on that swing carry today. Very tired. 161 carry. 164. Jesus Christ, the ball nearly hit me and we're in the fit room. There's a slice and then there's a boomerang. Nah, don't slice. worry about right, it. So we're, we're not that far off on the fight, but obviously we've not hit it very well. We're not going very far. A bit crap. The fun one is always the driver. This is the one that I always look forward to when people come in the shop and say, oh, you know, I met my driver 320 yards. What's your swing speed, pal? Uh, around about 70 mile an hour. <laughs> it's always fun, that. No, that's a top. We'll uh, <laughs> You might notice a bit of a crop in this video where he edits that one out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 131. 129. So on a bad weekend, for the bad strike's good. Yeah. Every time I make one bad, it's been alright. We've actually tried a proper drive. Not a proper one, but it's a high one. It's high and straight. High, straight, crap. What have we got carry wise? 151. 156. So five yards off. Granted, again, we're not getting the best data set because not in. Well, that well, strike is quite frankly appalling. I'm going to team up there and I'm going to team up high. I'm going to try two low ones to see if we can get the carry right. Real one. That's a real one. Not believe. It's the best one you've hit. <laughs> <laughs>
Straightest one, okay? <laughs> one, four, five. One, four, five, one, fifty. Carry. So again, we're five yards off. I'm going to try and hit this one. Yeah, you might want to watch the top of that. Without hitting the swing guard. Yeah, you're going to smash it to bits. I'm going to try and draw it. Oh, dear. Square onto the <laughs> Somebody's dead. What we got there? 173. 178. So on average, we'll call it a day there, but what we're looking at is, is the 100 pound launch monitor. This is a cheaper version. The older version doesn't talk to you. The new ones talk to you. This, that, and the other. Is it worth buying? For amateur golfers, 100%. 100 pound. Also on here, just a quick note, we've got... For scratch players, I don't think it's going to be much use, but... If we go, sort of, where's games? There is a practice mode here somewhere. <sighs> mode. So you've got practice mode. We've got game mode. So we've got different modes. I don't know what, what are you doing here. If I just send her off to sleep for a minute. Bring her back on. Nice little fun feature it's got in it. So if we click mode... Gives you target mode. So same to the skills game me and Scott have played on Trapman before. 135 yards a hit. So you choose club. You hit 99. You hit it. Try and get as close as you can. So if you're at the range we make, 100 quid spent. Got it forever. Take Bit of fun. Batteries. Good old Kodak Poundland specials. <laughs> it works fine. So swing caddy SC100. Well worth a buy if you're a bit of a range golfer or even if you want to put practice.